See, once you've been in this spiritual fight <clears throat> for so long, you learn this lesson right here real quick. You better learn how to fight in this fight real quick. Because here's what you're going to understand is that by you declaring your confession of faith, yes, I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's on. Somebody ready to hit you in the mouth. Are you with them? Mm -hmm. See, that's what's going on, in case y'all don't know. Mm -hmm. And, but for most of us, we are Christians. We, we, we are Israelites, but we're Christians. Why? Because that's how you live your Israelite life. You don't really have no fight in you. You just, you're just, you have a title on you. That's what you were when you were Christian. You had a title on you. I'm a believer. And then, you, so now, I go to work. I just, you know, I do a few nice things and people, you know, saying some, some, some clothes and some pantries and, you know what I mean? And we good. But in fact, you heard Shepherd Pastor Charles Dow say that the desire to destroy the chosen people has been a it's been an ongoing. Yes, sir. Oh, y'all hear me? Yes, sir. And for myself, you know, my growth is determined by how much am I gonna engage in this spiritual warfare. And, 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 I'm going to say and in a minute, but the first part is, somebody say it. How much am I going to grow in this spiritual war? See, that's important. Growing in the spiritual war is important. Okay. And how much am I going to learn how to truly protect protect myself in this i don't want to be wide open well the first thing in protection is you looking at self where am i open where am i giving place where am i not warring enough where is my belief? You got to do a self-assessment because you might not be eligible to go to war. Mm -hmm. 